98 Not Out, sponsored by Shepherd Knee, proud supporters of cricket in Essex. We've got another guest with us. We certainly do. And uh, joining us is, uh, now you, you will all know who this chap is. Those of you in the cricketing world will know him as a cricket agent, but he's a, he's a sporting agent. But you might also have seen him on TV last year as taking part in The Apprentice, where he got to the final five, I believe. Please welcome Dean Ahmed. Dean, how are you? Good, good. Thanks for having me. How are we? We're good. Well, is that right? You, you made the final five? Final six. Pretty close. Ah. <laughs> Ne- 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 it's never great with <laughs> we get it all wrong between us Dane, Dane how are you coping with everything yeah good good um, it's pretty crazy I mean sort of getting used to it now but I mean originally it was just like we were in a movie um, mm. I was out in Pakistan at the time when it all sort of kicked off obviously flew back and just sort of trying to keep busy now but no I can't complain how, how, are, how are you both it was a shame wasn't it we were talking to Samet Patel last week and who was out yeah. there in the in the PSL and it looked like it was a really great tournament and it was getting real momentum and building to a really good climax and then I mean for obvious reasons it all had to come to a grinding halt but you know what were your experiences of, of, of how it was all going yeah all good um, and literally I think I think it was Rav who mentioned this on, when he came on with you guys that yep. literally they had their team meetings um, I was almost getting ready to leave for the ground and then all of a sudden I saw it on Twitter first ironically mm. uh, just that it's been postponed and you know very very crazy and then obviously everyone was sort of on the phone to Emirates trying to change their flights including <laughs> myself um, and luckily we did that and then pretty much headed back to, to the UK within a day or, or so so yeah very hectic but look these things happen and there are more, more important things than uh, you know, living our lives stuff. It's more yeah. about you know, start, you know, obviously our family and stuff. So no, all good. It must have been you know a bit easier for you travelling first class on Emirates. Um, things sort of uh, get back. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I thought you had your own plane, Dean. <laughs> What's that? I thought you might have had your own plane back. <laughs> that would be silly. But, no, all good. All good. Can't complain. How are you both? We're good. We're good. We are keeping going. You know, other sports shows of. Taking a break with all this going on, but we are keeping our heads down, providing quality cricket news and entertainment every week. Big use of the word quality. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've noticed you on social media this week, uh, wearing protective gear and helping out with um, supporting humanity. Um, who we're going to sure. we're going to have the CEO Idris Patel on later on this evening. But do you want to just tell us what you've been doing and how you got involved with that? Yeah, yeah, look, he just is a, he's a good friend of mine. Um, obviously, what they're doing is pretty remarkable, local to myself, being an Essex lad. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, the time I've got my hands, what not, you know, why not put it to better use by volunteering and whatnot. So I've been in there a couple of times and, uh, no, it's been good. Um, I mean, even just looking at the numbers, the amount of mi- meals they provide for those vulnerable um, you know, and also those in the you know, I've got the figures here. Hospitals. It's seventeen hundred meals a day. Yeah, it's just that is just remarkable. And so far, um, they've done they provided thirty thousand hot meals. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and look, what I'm doing is nothing special. What's special is the guys who are the women and men who are, who are in risking their lives and whatnot. So if we can sort of do anything remotely at all, then why not? So you know what they're doing. As you said, you hear from them later on is. It's pretty remarkable, and you know, it's, it's almost relishing and good to see that people all around the country have actually, um, you know, done pretty well, and we're all getting together. And there's just a bit of spirit, I think, um, that you know we're going to hopefully come out the other side and on the better end. So let's see. Have you been cooking and preparing some dishes, or have you you been just kept to the delivering and to be logistics? honest? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't trust myself in, in a kitchen. I <laughs> not not celebrity been, master chef for you next then. Exactly. Um, but no, I've literally just been boxing some stuff up, doing the boring old bits. But, you know, I'm more than happy to, to do that. But no, all good. I saw Ravi was involved. Did he turn up with a few bags of Sam's chicken? I, w- I wouldn't be surprised. So you didn't do the cooking in the house when you were on The Apprentice? Is that what you're saying? Not a chance. But I was, um, you know, I was always on the... I was always, what's the word, ran the producers and the staff, I'll get me more food, I want this Did they bring that. food in for you, or did you have to... Yeah, I mean, look, when we were out of task and stuff, you know, we were well looked after, we'd just be taken to the fish. Those, which said, whatever it is, whatever there was, and then obviously at home we'd get 
a chef to, who, who'd drop everything over. So it was oh, pretty very nice. You pretty don't convenient. Say- and even then, I was probably the one complaining that you know I wanted more. And, <laughs> things, but you know, you it is what it is. You don't sound like you're going to sa- sa- sign up for I'm um, a celebrity. Get me out of here, either, do you? It doesn't sound like that's going to be your <laughs> type of show. I'll be honest. I would not last a minute in that. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I'm too. I don't know what the word is, but yeah, not squeamish, <laughs> underhanded. <Yeah. laughs> Have you got a few words for uh, the famous Tom Skinner? Have you seen his news this week? Yeah, Tom's getting on well. Um, obviously, he uh, put the news out that he's, he's having a, a little one, which yeah. is pretty, pretty crazy. Bosh! As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So big up to him. And, I've got yeah, a feeling in... In the next six to twelve weeks, we're going to hear many more stories of people having little ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think so too. That's not very surprising. So. Lockdown, lockdown. Yeah. yeah. So um, this supporting humanity um, effort, I mean, it is fantastic and and rightly so. But it's not just the NHS workers that they are looking out for. It's uh, it's the vulnerable members of our community yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, for sure, for sure. And no, look, it's it's good. As I said earlier, it's. Um, a nice feeling to see everyone getting getting together and doing their part as I said I've got a lot of free time on my hands so you know it's great to get down there and you know as I said the, the number of meals is remarkable yeah. they're doing it every single day so consistently and it all, uh, it all seems to happen very very quickly I mean is that uh, we'll, we'll talk to Idris later on about how he managed to galvanise everything at such speed mm. but um, it, it did seem to come out of nowhere and, and have a head mm. of steam you know the support they've got and the setup there is pretty good. I mean, they've got the chefs in there. They've got you know numerous people. Obviously, all social distancing, but yeah, of there's a lot of people there. So it just shows how many people are willing to sort of give their hand. And you know, so it's always good to see. And almost gives you that feeling proud to be British. So yeah, you know, I think there's a few positives going on in a world of negatives right now. So yeah, well, I think this is what it is doing. And I think you know, we were just talking to. Uh, Phil Coleman from Bentley Cricket Club just a minute ago and I think what this is doing is it's making people think about their community and mm. helping and, and doing their bit coming together and it's a very sort of British quality which only ever seems to come out um, yeah. in darker times but uh, yeah. I mean yeah there's, 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 there's some really fantastic things going on at the moment for sure. For now, sure. For, for for Dean Ahmed, what is the? I mean, obviously things are on hold at the moment, but uh, is what's what's in the pipeline for for yourself? Yeah, look, um, trying to keep myself busy. Obviously, well, I think I'm sure we're all in the same boat that we're missing our cricket. Um, and obviously, from a business perspective, yeah, not much, too, you know, not too much yeah. activity going on around the world. Doesn't mean um, you know certain potential planning of certain deals is is definitely still on the cards. Yeah. Um, you know, without giving away too many secrets, maybe certain Essex players playing certainly around the world. Oh right, um, okay. I won't say too. Much. <laughs> no, 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 no! Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, all good. All and good you're keeping fit list. and healthy. Yeah, 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 trying to jump on the on the bandwagon. Uh, a lot of seeing a lot of people running, so seeing more people running out and about than ever. So I'm definitely jumping on the bandwagon, and you know, using this time to really reflect and plot and. You know, even from a personal point of view, just work on a few things and get ready for, for the months ahead. So, you know, in that way, it's quite a nice time to just sit down and, and think hard carefully and you know, almost use it as a time to be excited about the future. So, yeah, keeping busy as we all are and working hard. Brilliant. Well, Dean, thanks for joining us. Thanks for uh, all the bits and bobs you're helping us with over the last few weeks as all well. Time. And obviously, we'll stay in touch and uh, we'll, we'll catch up again soon in a few weeks, hopefully. For sure. Brilliant. Take care, Stay mate. well, guys. Thanks Cheers, Dean. Much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Cheers.